and happy is the sacred hour when two devoted hearts are bound by the enchanting ties of matrimony. And these precious evidences of purity of heart and contentment of mind for all their future are made more sure when they enter this glad time with reverence, humility, and faith that they may then be blessed of our Heavenly Father, maker of us all, the one who has ordained marriage as the cornerstone of family life and the guarantee of honorable human society. First and noblest of human contracts, marriage was divinely instituted when God spoke the nuptial words to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Jesus of Nazareth honored its celebration by his presence at the wedding in Cana of Galilee and chose its beautiful relations as the figure of that union between himself and his church. The Apostle Paul commends it as a worthy institution, not to be entered into lightly but reverently with godly fear and tells the husband to love his wife as Christ loved his church and gave himself for it, and the wife to be faithful to her husband, even as the church is obedient to Christ in everything. Thus the two, 
husband and wife, forsaking all others, become one flesh, one in thought, intent, and hope, and all the concerns of the present life. Let us pray. And Lord God, as you honored the wedding at the Cana of Galilee uh, with the presence of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father God, this day that you honor this marriage with the presence of your Holy Spirit and bless these two mightily as they go through this walks of life. And we give you praise, honor, and glory for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Who gives this woman to be married? Her mother and I. If you then, Tyler and Chelsea, have freely chosen each other as partners in this holy estate and know of no just cause why you should not be so united, will you please join hands? Tyler, in taking a woman who you hold by the, by the hand will you, to be your lawful and wedded wife, do you promise to love and cherish her, to honor and sustain her, in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days, in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to her in all things until death alone shall part you. I do. Chelsea, in taking the man who holds you by the hand to be your lawful and wedded husband, do you promise to love and cherish him, to honor and sustain him, in sickness as in health, in poverty as in wealth, in the bad that may darken your days, in the good that may light your ways, and to be true to him in all things until death alone shall part you. Now, please have the rings. As a ceaseless reminder of this hour and of the vows you have taken, place this ring on the hand of your bride and repeat after me. I give you this ring, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. And faithfulness to you. Chelsea, as a ceaseless reminder of this hour and of the vows you have taken. Place this ring on the hand of your groom and repeat after me. I give you this ring, you this ring as, a as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. For as much then as Tyler and Chelsea have covenanted together according to the teachings of the scriptures and laws of the state, I as an officer of the law and a minister of the gospel declare that they are husband and wife what therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Diana, Adrian, would you all join me? Amy, William. Would everyone please bow their heads as we pray for Tyler and Jesus. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we want to take just a moment again and thank you for Tyler and Chelsea. Thank you for the blessing that they've been to their mothers and their fathers, their friends and their families, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for the example that their mothers and fathers have been to them in honoring the vows that they made on their wedding day. Lord God, and they've been an example to them, and we thank you so much for that, Father. And we ask you, Father, Lord God, right now that you would bless Chelsea and Tyler in such a great and mighty way that they would not lean upon their own understanding, Father, but they would lean on you, Lord Jesus. Lord God, let them to see the example that their mothers and fathers have been to them and help them to realize the example they can be for so many others. Bless them and keep them, Father, I pray. Lord, bless their lives mightily. 
In the precious, sweet, heavenly name of Jesus, we pray. And amen. Amen.